Hey guys, welcome to GameBad. Today we're going to a video, and today we're going to be going over the new map trailer for Battlefield 2042. So we have a lot of new weapons, and we get a good look at the new maps. Or, not new weapons, but we get a good look at some weapons we haven't necessarily seen a lot of yet. So hey, first we have the Renewal map. We see the Deployable Shield with the DV-7, which is that DDM4V7 Hunter variant, probably in 6.8 or 6.5, with a Sniper Scope and a Magpul Grip. We also have the PKP bullpup as it's called in game the pkp bp comes with 200 rounds fast firing it also looks like it has a zeneco rk2 snatch grip on there as well as an okp7 optic mounted on the front carrying handle which has that futuristic picatinny which is good to see they put everything in the right spot and again that snatch zeneco rk2 grip looks really nice on there as well so really good bullpup patch and egg good to finally see it in action uh, being used in a first-person perspective. It fires very fast, so it's nice to see. It looks like it's going to be a pretty solid machine gun. We also saw the breakaway map, and here we see Sundance with the wingsuit in action. It looks like well, this is probably going to be one of the better maps to be using that. We also see another variant of the DV-7 DMR there. Again, this time it has more of an LCAN type optic, more of a 3.5 optic. I think that we saw this optic in the beta, so it's different from the first version of this we saw earlier in the trailer with the sniper scope we also get a shot here on breakaway of the ak-24 with the drum magazine attachment so it looks like this will probably have around 65 rounds to start however here it only starting with 30 something because because obviously the player has fired a lot already we have the vortex uh3 optic mounted on the ak-24 there and then also we get a good shot here at discarded so this map we get a good shot here of the saga or the 12 millimeter auto we see this thing in action as well as the little bird with the 20 millimeter rounds also really good to see here uh make it a return from battlefield 4 and the little birds you could put on those 20 millimeter rounds for anti-personnel and anti light vehicle so overall in the trailer i think we saw a lot of uh really good gameplay here the tr gameplay itself looks a lot better i would say than it did in the beta it looks everything looks smoother the lighting the optics one thing i really like is the ak-24 is the vortex uh3 looks really really clean and then a lot of the maps just look beautiful i think uh discarded breakaway and renewal these are maps we haven't really seen too much of yet outside of some of the initial trailers but the maps, they really give me that old school Battlefield feeling from, I would say, like Battlefield 3, I want to say. Some of the Battlefield 3 DLCs, um, I'm definitely getting that feeling from this trailer with the gameplay and just the way the maps look and the uh, the tone of the trailers themselves. Really giving me some of that Battlefield 3 DLC map pack trailers that we saw back then. I think the, uh, the lighting in the trailer, everything looks good. The... Everything, the graphics and everything are very clean. Not sure what the trailer is uh, shot on, whether it's PC or one of the consoles, but again, looks really nice, and especially Breakaway. I mean, we don't really know the scale of this map because we haven't seen the thing as a whole, but we did get some good shots of it here, um, and we can see it's obviously just huge. We obviously have the above head, the overhead uh, images of the Breakaway map. However, uh, when you're looking here, you get a brief shot of off the the side of the cliff, and it just looks massive. There's going to be a lot of flags on that map, as well as uh, what well, looks like a lot of open areas, really good for sniping, especially with that new NTW-20. might be a good spot to set that up on top of one of the hills. Um, we did get also the Saga-12, just <laughs> looks devastating. We saw this in, in the previous trailer for some of the specialists, and here in the map trailer, it just looks very devastating at close range, so it should be a lot of fun to use that i do also really appreciate the like i said the color scheme and just how lush the grass and everything looks i think the graphics in this look far superior to whatever that was going on with the beta the beta looked good but this kind of makes it look a little bit less cartoonish and a little bit more uh grounded in the typical battlefield i would say feel as well as the look of the gunplay and everything like that so let me know what you guys are thinking. What do you think of the maps? What do you think of some of the weapon variants we saw here? It was really good to see the PKP Pechenek Bullpup finally in action. We've only seen it from the third-person perspective, as well as some screenshots of it over on the website and some of the pro promotional art. So that was really good to finally see. And I think this is the first shot we've seen of the Vortex UH-3, I want to say. We might have seen uh, a similar optic on the MCX Spear, the M5A1, I think it's called, in-game. But it looks really cool. And then also with the Little Bird, the 20 millimeter auto cannon. So this is good. There's obviously going to be a way to, like they, they showed, you'll be able to edit your weapons outside of the game. You'll be able to edit what 
armament you're putting on your vehicle. So obviously the helicopters here and the Beta Little Bird, it's only had available to them uh, hydro rockets and anti-air, I believe it was. So here we are swapping out the hydro rockets for the 20 millimeter cannon, same as Battlefield 4. And then it looks like the the uh, helicopter had the anti-air, or maybe it was air to ground missiles on, on the Little Bird there. So it looked really good. Um, have to wait and see. I'm really excited for the game. It can't come soon enough. Little, little, just about two more weeks for early access here on November 12th. Really excited to see uh, see what this is going to look like when the game comes out and how it plays. I'm very excited. So let me know what you guys think down below. What's your favorite map? What do you think of the weapons showcases that we saw here? As well as, again, some of these maps like Renewal. I think the maps look very, very good. And honestly, whatever version this is compared to the beta looks far superior. So it goes kind of to uh, prove the point that the beta build was very old and obviously not nearly as polished. And then we're seeing probably a lot of the uh, the gameplay improvements that they've made from the beta feedback on this particular build since the game has finally, uh, according to Tom Hedison, gone gold, meaning the day zero and day one builds are just about ready to go. Um, and they're just really in testing phases right now. So. Let me know what you guys think down below. Till next time, this is Buffering Gaming, out.